king of the Canadian Hill. Dreadful drawings in our Ontario. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, it's my birthday today, and today I'm a big boy now. That's what my Nana told me today. She gave me such a big hug when she came to my mom and dad's home, and then into the backyard, and then to my party, because, because my birthday party was in the backyard with all my friends from school, and cousins, and uncles, and aunts, and my other Nanas and Papas too. I'm so excited. I love my gifts I got today. My birthday gifts are all so important to me. But, but, my, the last birthday present, present that was given to me was from my Nana. And it was after the big hug she gave me. She gave me the gift and said, You grow up so fast. My dad is acting weird now. When Nana gave me my gift from her, he asked if it was safe. My Nana is a scientist and a doctor and said that it was just a small piece of the Hydron Collider. I'm holding it close to my chest. This small metal box, its color is gray. But, but, I see green and blue light coming from it too. It's so cool. It's so cool looking. I love my gift my Nana gave me. The lights to the Din Din room turn off. And all I see now are the lights from the candles on my birthday cake. And my Nana's gift. Awesome. My mom tells me to make a wish and blow out my candles. <sighs> what? What? What's happening? What was that? I... I feel strange. Oh no. I can't blow out my candles on my birthday cake. No. No, I, I did. I did. I blew out the candles and the room went dark. And all that was illuminating was... was my gift from Nana. The blue and green glow from the small gray box. That's, that's even, what, smaller now? No, no, I'm looking down at my birthday cake rather than across from it. I'm, I'm bigger. I thought, my, I thought the thought process is, is I have a thought process now? Dramatic, drastic, drastic thinking? What are these words in my head? I feel I'm in a dire situation right now. Oh, you grow up so fast. What? N Nana? I can barely see you. The orange illumination. What a word. From my birthday candles are lighting up just your faces. Of whom is close to me. At the Dinton table. No, no. The, the dinner table. It's just the nerve-wracking smiles that don't seem to move of my mommy, daddy, big sister, little baby brother, and a few of my friends and cousins. And of course, Nana. Wait, my little brother, my baby brother. No, everyone looks older, bigger, but they don't, they don't, they don't move an inch. It's just... They just have these frozen smiles on them. And I hear a voice telling me to blow out my birthday candles. It sounds like mom, but it's coming from the box. The small gray box. The gift from Nana. Okay, here I go. <sighs> what fresh hell is this? Fuck's sakes. What the shit type of gift did you give me, Nana? Eh? Eh? Where are you? Nana? Hello? You were over on the left side. Uh, my right side. Behind Uncle Tom. Are you hiding from me? Embarrassed that the gift you gave me is a goddamn curse? I know... It's the small gray cube uh, that I'm holding that is the cause of this, Nana, you stupid old bag. Fuck. You, you're all just staring and smiling at me. You're, st you're stuck in time. 
I don't know. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Some of you are missing. Not just Nana. Let's see. Cousin Timmy, my big sister, Tammy, and all the kids from school, and Grandma's and Grandpa Stu. Gone. Still got one cousin, I see. No, wait. That's not Polly. Oh, shit. That's my baby brother. Not a baby no more. Mom and Dad look so old, too. The orange light from my birthday candles illuminate the white from their hair. Yeah, and accentuate the wrinkles on their faces. Oh, shit. I didn't notice that I got more candles on my birthday cake, too. Ugh. Well, it makes sense. Pans out, really. Well, that the only thing left to do is... Ah! Fuck it. That small, shitty, gray cube broke into a million pieces. I can see it for a few seconds due to the arc of blue and green light that burst from it when I threw it really hard on the dining room floor. Ha ha ha. Now, um, okay. Why, why can't I move from my seat? Seems I'm stuck in place like everyone else. Oh, you grow up so fast. Uh, fuck you, Nana. Well, I literally broke the thing that caused the chain of events to happen, right? I should be good. Free. Um, the hell with it. I'm blowing out the candles once more on my birthday cake. I hope to A, fly back in time, starting events, you know? Or B, I'm in this timeline, and I lost, like, two decades or something. Okay, here I go. <sighs> no! No, no! I... I don't understand. I broke the chain, did I not? Ouch! Everything hurts. My head, knees, back. Oh... My hands and arms are so pale, red blots, wrinkly. What is this? I have a long white beard. I'm... I'm so very tired. My birthday cake is so very bright. So many candles. It's illuminating the whole Din Din room now. Wait. I'm not in mom and dad's house anymore. It's a hospital room. I'm not sitting on my big boy chair anymore. I'm lying in a bed. No more large wooden table. Just a small bedside metal tray on wheels. Such a big birthday cake for such a small gathering. Just a doctor, nurse, and my baby brother in attendance. Standing still in frozen time with eerie smiles on their faces. I pull myself up to straighten my back to help my exhausted lungs pull in whatever tonnage of air that I can use to blow out the many, many candles on this birthday cake. As I lean in to get into position and feel the candle's heat on my face, a single tear rolls down my cheek. I know that this is it. My end is in sight. My last birthday is here. They grow old so fast. The nurse. Yes, I think so. I take a deep breath and hold it just for a second, and with all my tired muscle might, I force whatever air I have left in me one last time. That went out the wrong hole. The doctor smiles and shakes his head. The nurse looks and sighs in disgust, but 
My baby brother laughs out loud and holds my hand as I blow out my birthday cake candles. Do 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 do